Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Get a cup of coffee. Get a Bible. Get Don't get upset. But just get ready. Get ready because our nation is turning into hell. Because we refuse to accept the truth. It's sad. It's really sad. All right. So, and first of all, let me just say this. I don't know anything about Pastor Louis Giglio. This isn't about Pastor Louis Giglio. This is about an outright rebellious spirit, which is the spirit of witchcraft, by the way, that is ruling our nation. Our country is under a spell of demonic forces. The spirit of darkness. We've got to break this spirit, folks. It's going to take some God-fearing, Bible-believing, Bible-thumping, saints of God with some faith because we are in trouble. Listen to this. A new chapter in American moral revolution came as Atlanta pastor Louis Giglio withdrew from giving the benediction at the President Obama's second inaugural ceremony. In a statement released to the White House, the presidential inaugural committee says that Pastor Giglio said that he withdrew because of the fervor that emerged yesterday after a liberal watchdog group revealed that almost 20 years ago he had preached a sermon in which he stated that homosexuality is a sin and that the only way out of the homosexual lifestyle is through the healing power of Jesus Christ. Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! In other words, a Christian pastor has been effectively disinvited from delivering the inaugural prayer because he believes and teaches Christian truth. The fact that Pastor Giglio was actually disinvited was made clear in a statement from the presidential inaugural committee. And here's what they said in writing, quote, we are not aware of Pastor Giglio's past comments at the time of his selection. They don't reflect our desire to celebrate the strength and diversity of our country at this inaugural. Pastor Giglio was asked to deliver the benediction in large part because of his leadership in combating human trafficking around the world. As we now look to select someone to deliver the benediction, we will ensure that the beliefs reflect the administration's vision of inclusion and acceptance for all Americans. In other words, we don't want anybody who's saved. We don't want anybody who stands for the Word of God. We don't want anyone who preaches the truth that preaches the power, delivering message of the gospel of Christ. We don't want anyone, no matter if they're doing a tremendously great job in setting people free from human trafficking, setting the captives free, recovering of sight to the blind. Now, I don't know anything about Pastor Giglio. This isn't about him. This is about the word of God being thrown out of our nation's capital. This is about the Word of God not allowed to be prayed. You can't even pray now. If you're a man of God, if you believe the Bible, they don't even want you to come there and pray. Oh, by the way, they're going to have to select a new pastor to pray for the benediction. Can I make a recommendation? I can tell you right now. I'm going to go look at my mailbox. Do you think I got an invitation? What? <laughs> what? What a joke! Do you think Pastor Paul Begley's got an invitation to come to the inauguration and pray for our nation? I should be one of the people called, not just me, but every, any God-fearing, Bible-believing, soul-cleansed, washed in the blood, born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, anointed saint of God, needs to be called to ask to pray for our nation. Some God-fearing grandmother with the anointing of the intercessory prayer gift could pray and intercede for this country. Oh my God, do we need a prayer? Do we need a revival? Do we need an awakening in America? But no, they're going to find somebody else. Who are they going to find? 
Here's my recommendation to the President of the United States. Don't even look for us. Why, why even look toward a, a, a Christian pastor? Why even look toward the gospel? Just go find something in the hog pen. Just go down in the gutter. Go down into the immorality. Go down into the into the, the depths of sin and pull anybody else you want out of there. Because that's exact. If you're trying to find somebody to bless your sin, I will not bless this sin. I will not bless it. It's not just me. Anybody that's called of God, any minister with the anointing, anyone that has the power of the Holy Ghost cannot bless this sin. It's not just this sin. It's a nation filled. We have turned our back on God. Let me tell you what the Bible says about it. Here's what the Word says. Are you serious? Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning. They don't believe in the Bible. This know also in the last days. 2 Timothy 3, 1-5. through This know also in the last days. Perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parent, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. They despise this man because of a, have his stand for the word of God. They despise me. They despise Jack Van Impey. They despise Barry Stone. They despise John Hagee. They hate him. They hate Rod Parsley. They hate Franklin Graham. Are you serious? They hate David Jeremiah. Are you right? Jensen Franklin. They hate these guys. They hate us. They hate local pastors and their churches. They hate us. They don't want us up there. We're not getting invited. We're not going to go. We're not, well, they'd run us out of Washington on a rail. And the Bible says they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. They deny it. The power's in the truth. The power's in the word of God. Oh, they want some little limp-wristed pastor to show up with a cloth over his arm and somehow bless this nation. That's not going to get it done. What we need is somebody who'll preach the word of God. To say men are men, women are women, children are children. Let's all come to Jesus to be washed in blood. This pastor said that homosexuality is a sin. He's right. It is. It's worse than that. It's an abomination. This pastor said, though, that you can be delivered from it through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. He's right. Amen. You can. See, if we start changing the word of God, it we're done. There's no reason not to invite this guy. I mean... Nobody agrees with every doctrine that's preached in the different seven different Christian categories of the body of Christ. They all are different doctrines. There's different little things that you don't, there's things about that I believe you don't believe. That's okay. It doesn't change the integrity of the gospel. But they say, what they're saying is they don't want the gospel. They want somebody, though, to bless them, but just don't bring the truth. Well, you're not being blessed if it's not the truth. It's a curse. This is crazy. I'm sorry, folks. It's falling apart fast. This nation's falling apart. We need a revival in this country. Pray for me. When I go to Jamaica in April, Lord willing to preach there, I'm calling for a national revival in the Caribbeans, not just Jamaica, but the entire Caribbean islands. I'll be preaching six nights in the largest church in the entire Caribbean islands on their Jamaican national television, live, live on the internet. It's an, I don't even know why they asked me to come other than they are God-fearing people and they want the truth and they're going to get the truth and they know they're going to get the truth and God's going to move mightily because we stand on the word of God. We stand on the word of God. But America needs the same thing, a revival in America church pray would you please we're running out of time if you're watching this youtube video and you're not saved you need to listen to me very closely this thing is almost over jesus is coming for the bride he's at the door 
any moment, he's going to take the bride home. Are you going to go with us? Are you going to be left behind? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Send it to me. I need Jesus. 